Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metric. If you did the previous exercise, you may have the file 00 underscore 017 underscore DIABM open on your screen. If not, go and open this file where you save it or go and download this file on my website. In this tutorial, I will continue to dimension our drawing. Go to the annotate tab dimension panel and click this down and select the linear dimension. At the specifying first extension line origin or select object point, use the endpoint object snap and snap into this area. And at the specifying second extension line origin prompt, zoom in into this area and snap to this point. Now move the mouse cursor down and place the dimension. Go to the home tab layer panel and click the third layer button. Now select this dimension and move it to the beam layer. In the home tab, go to the annotate panel and select the linear dimension. At the specifying first extension line origin prompt, click on this corner and move the mouse cursor and select this corner moving into this direction and at the specifying dimension line location prompt click go to the home tab layer panel and click the make current bot button select this dimension to make the dim dimension layer the dim layer as the current layer go to the quick access tool and se select the match property at the select source object prompt select this dimension at the select destination object prompt select this dimension Let's escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify annotate panel and select the linear dimension. Zoom in into this area and click from this point. At the specified second point, click on this area, move the mouse down and click. Go to the home tab, go to the annotate tab dimension panel, click the down arrow and select the continuous dimension. Click on this point this point this point this point this point press enter to end the command go to the annotate tab dimension panel and select the linear dimension command at specify first extension line origin prompt move the mouse cursor and click on this area at the specify second extension line origin prompt move the mouse cursor and click on this area at the specifying dimension location prompt, move the mouse cursor approximately to this area and click. Go to the annotate tab dimension panel, click this down and select the baseline dimension. Move the mouse cursor and click on this area. Click this point. This point this point this point press escape to get out of the command now autocad dimension all the objects use this point as the base point for all the dimension go to the annotate tab dimension panel click this down arrow and select the align dimension command at the specify first extension line origin prompt press enter at the select the object prompt select this dimension this line and move into this area place this dimension select the align dimension command again at the specifying first extension line origin prompt click on this endpoint at the specifying second extension line origin prompt click on this area and place this dimension now click the down arrow and select the angular dimension at the select axe circle line or specifying vertex prompt click on this line at specify second line prompt, select this line and move the mouse cursor to place the, the, the angular dimension. Go to the annotate tab dimension panel, click this down arrow and select the arc length dimension. Zoom in into this area, select this arc and dimension it. Click the down arrow and select the radius dimension. At the select arc or circle prompt, select this arc at the specifying at the specifying dimension line location prompt 
move the mouse cursor into this area and click to increase the dimension. Click this down arrow and select the diameter dimension. Select this arc and move the mouse cursor to place the text. AutoCAD draw the, diame the diameter of this arc. Now select the radial dimension text and click the arrow to move it into new location. You can deactivate the auto mode to get a better position. Press escape. Click the down arrow and select the ordinate dimension. This can help you to locate the coordinates of the line. Now click on this area and move the mouse cursor up and click click start the ordinate command again click on this area and move the mouse cursor into this area and click the end point of this line is 5398 in the x-axis from the origin and 4596 4, from the origin in the y-axis to prove this let's go to the home tab draw panel and select the circle command at the specifying center point of a circle prompt type 5398 comma 4596 press enter autocad automatically start the circle at this corner now select the circle and hit delete on your keyboard go to the view control custom model view ground floor plan because the dimension layer was not current when we graded this view it that automatically freeze any layer that was not current when you graded the view based on the setting on the dialog box go to the home tab layer panel and click the third layer button this brings all your dimension all right now that we have uh, an experience in how to grade the dimension we're going to end this tutorial if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this series or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye